Hey everyone, it's Todd from Sideshow Effects once again, and in this video I'm going to go through the installation process of our Cubase MIDI controller for Stream Deck devices. This is the Mac version of the installation process. If you're looking for the Windows version, there's the link in the description below. So we're going to start with the Stream Deck software here, and in particular we're in Stream Deck version 5 uh, with the new store here. So you click on the store icon and you go to the left hand side pane here, click plugins, and in the search box over the top of the right here, we're going to enter MIDI. And it filters the results for us. And you see it here, this is the one we want here, MIDI, and we're just going to click install. Say so, okay. And it just takes a second. And that's it. It's installed and we can close this window. And the next thing we're going to do is set up our ports. So we're on the Mac, so we use Audio MIDI Setup, and you can find that in your Applications folder, Utilities folder. There it is, Audio MIDI Setup. And uh, you, you, you may have these ports, uh, um, but this is the one we're after here, the IEC uh, driver port here. So we click that, and we're presented with this dialog box. Uh, currently, there's no ports that are available here, so we're going to leave this device name blank. Very important. You have to leave that blank. And we're going to click on the plus icon down here. So clicking on that, it gives us a new port. We're going to click on this to rename it. Now, the case sensitivity is very important on this. So we're going to type in Mackie Dada. Capital M, capital D. We'll click the plus sign again and do a second one. And click on it, change the name. And this will be Da to Mackey. So capital D to capital M, Da to Mackey. Click the plus sign again. And we'll rename this. And this will be Stream Deck to Da Track. So capital S, capital D, capital T. Just like that. And we'll click the plus sign again. Click to rename. And this will be DA track to Stream Deck. So capital D, capital T, to capital S, capital D. So DA track to Stream Deck. Just like that. And then we, when we finish that, we click Apply. And we're done. We've added our ports. So the next thing we're going to do is launch Cubase. And we're going to go over to Studio, Studio Setup. And on the left-hand pane here, we'll go down to MIDI Port Setup. Now your dialog may look a little different than this one, but what you should have, since we just installed the drivers, you should have in the in uh, port area, Mackie to DAW and Stream Deck to DAW Track, and in the Outport area, a DAW to Mackie and a DAW Track to Stream Deck. So for the Import, the Mackie to DAW, we're going to select Visible. For the Stream Deck to DAW Track, we're going to select Visible and In All MIDI. For the DAW to Mackie, select Visible, and for the DAW Track to Stream Deck, select visible. Now over on the left hand side here we're going to create a, we're going to add a device. So click on add a device and we're going to add in a Mackie control device and under our new Mackie control for the MIDI input we're going to select Mackie to DAW and the MIDI output DAW to Mackie. Now in this area here we're going to assign three functions. So for the F1 function click on the category and this is going to be an add track and the command will be audio mono. For F2 in the category, it'll be another add track. And this one will be an instrument. And for F3, this will be a transport category. And the command will be activate metronome. We click apply, and that's our setup for Cubase. Now, the next thing we're going to do is jump back to our desktop, and we're going to install the graphics for the MIDI commands on our Stream Deck profile once we import them. So 
in your download folder, this is this is what you would have downloaded from from uh, Sideshow FX, the Cubase MIDI controller for Stream Deck. There's a MIDI graphics folder, and inside the Mac folder, there's a folder called Trevliga Spell. This has to be dragged and dropped into your Documents folder. So I'll bring my Documents folder in here. And you can see the path is your Macintosh hard drive, users, your username, and documents. So you would click and drag this straight into there. I already have it here, so I don't need to do that. But that's where that will go. And the last thing to do is we're going to install the Stream Deck profile. So you click on the gear icon at the bottom of this window, flyout menu, import. And we'll navigate once again to our Cubase MIDI controller for Stream Deck download folder. Under Stream Deck profiles, uh, of course on the Mac, there are two profiles here. One is for the regular 15 key device and the other is for the XL device. So depending on which device you're working with, that will be the profile that you're going to load. So once you've loaded it up, this is what it looks like and you should be ready to go. Now one additional note, you may have noticed under the Stream Deck profiles that there is a two copy folder here. Now, when we open this up, what, what's in here is two more profiles, one for the regular 15 key and one for the XL device. Now what these are, and I'll show you what the profile looks like, it, it will take our entire profile of Cubase MIDI controller and pack it into one folder. So I'll hop over and show you that what that looks like. And here it is here. So when we, this is just a folder. Inside that is our entire Cubase profile, the exact same profile as in the one you would have just installed. The difference is it's packed into one folder and this gives us the ability, if we click on it and right click, say copy, we can paste this into any other profile we want and therefore have direct access to this profile without having to switch profiles all the time. So if you have a copy of our Cubase Pro profile set, for example, and here it is here, you can find a blank key, click on it, right click and paste. Now in my Cubase Pro profiles, I have the MIDI controller profile set here as well. So I'll double click that and it gives me quick access to it. That takes me back to the main page of my Cubase Pro profile. And you can place this wherever you want. If you're building your own profiles, you can copy and paste it in there if you wish. It just makes it easier rather than having to switch profiles all the time to put this into an area you are commonly using. And that's it. You're all good to go. As always, you can check out our support page. Should you have any concerns or any difficulties, you should be able to find some answers there. And once again, thanks very much for downloading the pack. We really appreciate uh, the support from the creative community. You guys have been wonderful to us, and we really appreciate you joining us on this journey. Until next time, thanks so much. We'll talk to you soon.